May your light bless this studio. Hello and welcome to another build with PCMR. And we have a very special build in coming in. The focus point of this build, believe it or not, is the B550 or is master motherboard. And you might think, oh, this is a mid-range motherboard, isn't it? Well, yes it is, but it's a mid-range motherboard with some features that might just make you overlook some of the more upscale offers in the AMD lineup. Interestingly, this motherboard has 16-phase power delivery and this is true 16-phase. So this is not something you usually see in mid-range solutions and it's pretty much very comparable to the high-end X570 AMD offerings. So you get 16 power stages rated for 70 amps and this is a pretty solid integrated thermal solution as well, which should be more than enough to handle pretty much everything you want to throw at it on the consumer overclocking side. And it's one of the reasons why I picked the 3950X to pair with this motherboard. Actually, Pro Overclocker High Cookie just managed to reach almost 6,000 megahertz with this exact motherboard and the 3950X. So if it's good enough for High Cookie, it's good enough for me, at least on the overclocking side, that is. This motherboard has three M.2 connectors and every single one of them supports PCIe Gen 4. So natively, you will have six terabytes of storage available. You can actually go up to 10 terabytes if you use a sneaky method that I will let you figure out for yourself. So the main takeaway with an offering such as the B550 Aorus Master is that it offers 90% of the features of more upscale AMD solutions, but at a somewhat more comfortable price. And uh, while most people will be realistically comboing uh, a motherboard that's more budget friendly with something like a 3600, this is PCMR, so it would be wrong not to go with the H. Of course, the B550 motherboards are fully compatible with the up-and-coming Zen 3. Now we're gonna pair this motherboard with none other than the Ryzen 9 3950X. We're gonna use an RTX 2080, also by Aorus. We're gonna use the Aorus Liquid Cooler 360 millimeter. And to take full advantage of Gen 4 speeds, we're going with the Aorus NVMe Gen 4 SSD, this is one terabyte. And I just got these from Morris as well. And these are the 4400 megahertz RGB RAM DIMMs. Now, all of these beautiful parts are going inside a rather dashing Leon Lee O11 Dynamic PCMR edition. And we're gonna use a bunch of Noctua Chrome X fans. Now it's time to start building and to protect yourself and the parts. It's always good to use an anti-static bracelet and unfortunately I could not procure a Swiss Army knife so I'm using just regular screwdrivers. For the Ryzen 3000 series what we're going to do is set them to around 3800 megahertz and see how fast we can get these uh, timings to give us the greatest gaming performance possible. Now when Zen 3 comes out hopefully we'll be able to reach the full potential of this RAM speed and we all know how much RAM speed matters for Ryzen. This is a very dreamy CPU. You can game like a pro, you can create content at, uh, I wouldn't say the speed of light, but rather fast. Now, thermal paste application. It's important that you do not use way too little or way too much. Apply reasonable amounts and make sure the IHS is covered. You'll be fine. And now it's time for the most important part of any PC build.
it actually runs crisis. So the build is done and I'm very happy with how it looks. I think it came out pretty alright and uh, it can play Crisis so that's pretty awesome. As for you, I hope you stay healthy, I hope you stay safe and I hope you spend your time maybe doing something productive like building a PC. Is there really a better way to spend your time than building an awesome gaming and work machine? Team up, fight on. Toss some frames to your PC builder, O oh, Valley of Airflow.